Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, we will be talking about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the neoplastic transformation of lymphocytes, that is both B and T cells. The non-Hodgkin lymphoma causes the accumulation of neoplastic cells in both lymph nodes as well as in the extra lymphatic sites like in the bloodstream and this is important. We will discuss later that the leukemic phase occur in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma because it involves the blood uh, and uh, the extra lymphatic sites. The Reed-Sternberg cells are present, uh, are absent. These Reed-Sternberg cells are uh, present in Hodgkin's lymphoma. What are the types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma? So non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is divided on the cell type, the cell size, pattern of growth, expression of surface markers, and cytogenic translocation. The small B cells type include the follicular lymphoma, the mantle cell lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma, and small lymphocytic lymphoma. While the intermediate uh, sized B cells include Burkitt lymphoma, and this is the very, uh, this is uh, most important type. Uh, this is uh, associated with Epstein Barr virus. The large B cell um, type include diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Coming to the differen uh, differentiating point between non Hodgkin's and Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, the non Hodgkin's lymphoma is uh, mm, more frequent than Hodgkin's lymphoma. The lymphatic cells are lymphoid cells. The composition of the mass is uh, also uh, lymphoid cells. And remember that the clinical features include painless lymphadenopathy, but it arises mostly in adult population. The spread is uh, extranodal and the staging is of limited importance. The leukemic phase occur, as we already said. While the Hodgkin's lymphoma constitute 40% and the reed Stenberg cells are present. These are cells that resemble like all eye, all eyes. The mass is composed predominantly of reactive cells, that is uh, inflammatory cells and fibrosis. The lymphadenopathy is uh, painless and occasionally B symptoms are also present like night sweats, fever, etc. The spread is contiguous. The spread is contiguous and rarely extranodal. The staging is important in this case and it to guide us to uh, therapy. The leukemic phase does not occur. Well, uh, coming to the association. So, infections such as HIV, Hepatitis C, Epstein-Barr virus, etc. Uh, predisposes to the development of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. As we already said that uh, HIV and Epstein Barr viruses causes Burkitt lymphoma uh, in intermediate B cells uh, type of non Hodgkin's lymphoma. The clinical symptoms include enlarged, painless, rubbery lymph nodes. Uh, the B symptoms may be present, which include night sweats, 10% weight loss, fever, etc. And the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma mostly involve the extra lymphatic sites and the blood. Coming to the tests, so uh, in the blood test we perform the full blood count which will uh, show us lymphocytosis. The lymphocytes will be uh, more, will be increased, the urea and electrolyte and the liver function tests. The LDH shows us worst prognosis. If the LDH is increased, it reflects us that the cell is turning over. The destruction of the cells are taking place. Marrow and node biopsy are taken for classification. CT and PET scan of the chest, abdomen and pelvis and then uh, we send uh, cytology of any in, uh, effusion like lumbar puncture for cerebrospinal fluid cytology if CNS signs are present to know 
uh, whether it is CNS lymphoma or something else. So the treatment is uh, radiation and uh, chemotherapy. The radiations are reserved for um, uh, the disease which is in its early stages like stage 1a and stage 2a. Then we give combination of uh, chemotherapy and radiotherapy for stage 3 and stage 4 disease. If the B symptoms are present, we uh, give chemotherapy. The initial chemo chemotherapeutic regimen is CHOP. While for the Hodgkin lymphoma, it was ABVD. Here the um, chemotherapeutic regimen is CHOP, cyclophosphamide, hydroxy, uh, adriamycin, vincristin, and prednisone. So the treatment of CNS lymphoma, if the CNS in, is involved, then we mostly treat it with radiation in addition to CHOP. And the relapses of non-Hodgkin lymphoma can be controlled with autologous bone marrow transplantation. Some patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma ex express CD20 markers. So if the CD20 markers are established, then we go monoclonal antibodies like rituximab. The rituximab is anti-CD20 antibodies that has limited toxicity and its survival benefit to the use of CHOP. Prior to using our CHOP, um, we perform certain tests like for hepatitis B and C because uh, rituximab can cause permanent liver injury. So we check for hepatitis B and C. And uh, coming to the survival, so the survival hist uh, for the survival histology is important. Prognosis is worst if the uh, if a time of presentation the age is more than 60 years. As we already said in the differentiating point that the disease uh, presents in late adulthood. So if the age is more than uh, 60 years or systemic symptoms are present or bulky disease or lactate dehydrogenase is raised. Uh, so the survival, uh, the prognosis become worse. The typical 5-year survival per treated patient is more than 30% for high-grade and more than 50% for low-grade lymphomas. These are the certain pictures. We can see that this is cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, uh, which is also called uh, Cesare syndrome. The uh, T-cells uh, lymphoma has uh, invaded the skin. This is the Burkitt lymphoma and you can see the classical jaw involvement. The jaw is involved in this type of a, a disease. This is called Burkitt lymphoma. These are the certain histological pictures. The A and B shows Willis lymphocytosis and it is seen in um, Splenic marginal zone lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma. These are the buttock cells. You can see that they looks like buttocks. So with cleaved nuclei, you can see the nuclei are cleaved. This is seen in follicular lymphoma. And these uh, type are the cells with convoluted nuclei. And these are uh, seen in uh, Cesare syndrome. So this was all about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I hope you guys will have enjoyed my lecture. If you have enjoyed, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.